can see, I am not in my yarn room today. Today is Sunday, September 15th. Um, and um, I am in the hospital because I am having some issues with my pancreas again. Um, so yeah, I came in on Wednesday and of course y'all know me i brought my yarn bag with me because it's what i do right i take it everywhere even in the middle of a crisis i like automatically grab the yarn bag but uh today what i wanted to show you uh, is just some things i've worked on this morning um i haven't really crocheted uh, since I've been here until today because I uh, just honestly haven't felt up to it and uh, that's when you know you don't feel well right is when you uh, aren't up to even crocheting so this morning I woke up and I thought I'm gonna grab some of this yarn out of my yarn bag and make a few things so uh, the first thing I want to show you is what I found at Walmart on Monday, I believe. I found some Red Heart Granny All-in-One Square Yarn in this wonderful colorway, and it's called Warm Wheat. And um, this was on clearance, you guys. Now this is normally $10 a ball, and Walmart had it for $4, which I couldn't believe it. So I grabbed a bunch of the warm wheat because uh, the, the autumn colors are really pretty and I wanna make a granny square cardigan out of it, which hopefully I can do a tutorial for all of you. But this yarn um, is really a nice yarn because it automatically does your color change for you. So it's a worsted weight number four yarn. It takes a 5.5 hook and there are 417 yards in this ball of yarn. And if you live anywhere else in the world, that would be 381 meters because you know, the US is the only one still using the old imperial system, right? So looking at the yarn, you can tell they are really pretty autumn colors, but I wanted to show you what it looks like worked up because a lot of the times you can't tell what it looks like when you work it up and until you work it up. So uh, this is the colorway and this is what it looks like in a square and it automatically does the color change for you. You just work it in a traditional granny square and it just, it comes out like this. It's amazing, y'all, amazing. I love the yarn. Oh, and did I tell you it calls for a 5.5 mil hook? I can't remember. But yeah, so I wanted to show you this. I found at Walmart. I did get it in a, I did get a couple of balls in another colorway as well, a blue colorway, but I don't have that with me, so I, I don't remember the name of that one. But the other thing I found last week um, was at Joann's and it's some of their new Halloween yarn. Now this is the Big Twist. It's 100% acrylic. It's 269 yards or 246 meters. And this calls for a five millimeter crochet hook. Now it is not a um, self changing or um you know it's not the kind of yarn that the granny square the all-in-one yarn it's not that it's just a variegated yarn but it does make a pretty granny square as you can tell right here and i've made up two i've used a smaller hook size just to get like a a tighter square so you could see the difference. I just went down one hook size. But that's still a really pretty traditional granny square. And it's still fall colors. 
but to me the purple and orange together with the black kind of really in orange really screams Halloween it doesn't scream like autumn as much as this one does this one to me really says autumn and uh, that's why I got so many of these so I can make the cardigan out of these <laughs> but um, I also brought with me some um, Woolies Thick and Quick by Lion brand um, because I make uh, pumpkins out of these for my markets. And you guys, I was supposed to be doing a market today. I was literally supposed to be at my market right now. And obviously that's impossible. I'm not going to be doing my market today. But didn't know that when I came in on Wednesday. I was kind of hoping it might be a short stay. Um, but yeah, it didn't didn't turn out that way. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but you know, it is what it is. But um, I make the pumpkins, and these white pumpkins are really uh, big sellers. I don't have it stuffed, and I don't have the stem in, but it's, it's basically a done little pumpkin. I just have to stuff it and um, sew the top closed and put the stem on. But yeah, I was going to try to make uh, some of these and I also brought um, some in the colorway Redwood so that I could make some more traditional type um, pumpkins. But these white creamy pumpkins are really all the rage right now. I mean, who would have figured, right? I don't know why, but they are. People love them and they... They go nuts for them. If you do markets, highly recommend you making pumpkins in this colorway. Um, I also brought some Bernat white blanket yarn to make ghost because they go over really well. Honey, don't get your finger in the okay. camera, please. Okay. Um, they go, my husband is recording this for me. He's being very sweet. Um, but yeah brought this but um, I haven't made any ghosts um, haven't been up to really crocheting like I said until this morning so but um, yeah that um, that is all really that I have to show you I'm so sorry that I don't have my regular planned video for today which is Sunday y'all know I always put a video up on Sunday so this is just kind of a little impromptu video um, that we were doing really quick uh, at my bedside here at the hospital. So I do hope you all enjoyed seeing what I brought and I know you're all thinking, oh my gosh, Tess, really? You're in the hospital, you're so sick, and you grabbed your yarn bag. Force to have it, everybody. Yarn bag goes everywhere with me, and I think I've told y'all that, that before. Yeah, it just goes everywhere with me. So, um, also, real quick update on the Granny Square Survival Kit uh, giveaway. I will announce those winners on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, I will be home by Wednesday. And I will make a video where I do the drawing for that and we will find out who our winner is for the Granny, Granny Square Survival Kit. Um, yeah, if you are new here, I'd be tickled pink if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like me, if you like my content, uh, that would make me really happy. Uh, if you do that and all the YouTube-y things, the thumbs up and all that good stuff. If you are a returning subscriber, I just want to thank you so much for your loyalty and support. You guys, I'm very grateful to all of you. You mean the world to me, and uh, I thank you so much for all of that. Um, you know what's next, right? Be kind and be safe out there in the world, and I will see you all, hopefully, on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Bye.